All right, our next comedian is a regular here. He is a Jew from New York. Give it up for the incomparable Jeff Simon! I got divorced so many times I got him on speed dial. This is fucking crap doing tonight. Yeah. You ready for some laughs? Yeah. Who's next on the schedule? Yeah. Uh, I tell you, there's two advantages to being old. You know, these senior discounted movie theaters and accessoride. <laughs> yeah, you know, see the senior the public transportation for the elderly. Elderly and a handicapped, they only use it for Yankee games and when I'm dating a woman in a wheelchair. Uh, yeah, what's the... Uh, and then, uh, what, what's the next fucking joke? I've had, I've, had a lot to, uh, I've had a lot to fucking drink tonight, sorry about that. Um, the three biggest lies in the world, three biggest lies in the world, uh, uh, I won't come in your mouth, you know, the check's in the mail, and when your doctor says to you, uh, I just ran out of Viagra samples. When he said that to me the other day, I, I felt like throwing my urine cup right in his face. <laughs> Can you laugh a little louder? Being videotaped here. This is just fucking crap. Uh, let's see. I uh, I was going over my blood work with my doctor uh, the other day, yeah, and uh, everything is up. Uh, Glu my sugar, my uh, liver enzymes. Triglycerides, cholesterol. The only thing down is my testosterone level. You believe that shit? In fact, my testosterone is so low, I, I need two Viagras to jerk off. Oh. All right, that's, that's a nice laugh. That's not bad. Uh, wait, are you the piece of delivery boy? Yeah. Come on, have a fucking, um, give me a fucking laugh once in a while, will you? Uh, any Jews here? You're a Jew? Uh, yeah, I'm a Jew. And that's it? You're the only one to admit you're a Jew? Uh, you're the only, any other Jews here? Jew. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, a, you know, I'm a Jew from New York. Uh, uh, I, um, I'm not religious. I, like, I don't believe in the afterlife. Uh, yeah, but I, I, do believe, I do believe we go to a better place when we die. A anything's better than this living hell. I'm sorry. My, my, walls, my balls have been itching like crazy all day. I'm in a bad fucking mood. Um, did anybody see the debate the other night? Yeah. Uh, Obama won. Obama won. Yeah. And why? Why are the fucking liberals like uh, going fucking crazy? I, they they are so worried. They are so worried. Chris Matthews gave his resume to the Fox News Channel. Oh. I mean, you believe this shit? And Rachel Maddow sucked a real dick for the first time in her life. Oh. Uh, she, she wanted to try it out just in case Obama loses. You didn't like that one? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, every Jew I know, uh, you voted for Obama, right? You voted for Obama, right? Come on, you're a Jew. Every Jew I know is a liberal Democrat. Uh, we're, little, we're, we're liberal Democrats because uh, we identify with poor people. We're with poor people. You know? And uh, that's why uh, that's why if, if a Jew is not going to synagogue or work, he will dress will dress like a homeless person. <laughs> you ever notice that? I, I know this guy. Uh, he's worn a "Nobody Beats the Wish" T-shirt every weekend for the last 20 years. You believe that shit? I wash it once in a while. <laughs> I'm losing this fucking crowd, man. <laughs> God. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got divorced 12 years ago. Ooh. Two people give a shit, right? <laughs> I, I tell you, it's impossible meeting women. If you guys got a woman, you, you, you're lucky, you know? You're lucky. Piece of delivery boy, you got a woman? How do you fucking do that? <laughs> Come on. Uh, it's impossible to meet a woman. Now, the best time to meet a woman, though, Take my, is when is when is when her husband dies. I'm talking real. I'm serious. Like the day of the funeral. The day of the funeral. As soon as that casket goes into the ground, you got to make your move. If you, or it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late if you don't make your move. I was talking to this woman. Her husband, her husband died like the day before. The funeral was like the day before. She was on all the dating websites. 
She went to a singles bar the day before, and she told me she will not give me head until the third day. You believe that? It was just too late to get to this woman. Uh, I was in a bar the other night. Hey, shut the fuck up over there, will you? <laughs> uh, uh, it's not like I'm getting paid for this shit, you know? I was in a bar the other night, and uh, this one, and uh, how come every guy that's with a hot looking woman has to rub this woman's ass the whole night? <laughs> well, well, why is that? Do, are there any ass rubbers here? <laughs> come on, is there any ass rubbers here? Raise your hand, raise your hand. I mean, thank you. This is the, I like this guy. What's your name? Mar Markham? Markham. Oh. Uh, do, I, do you, do, I mean, are you turned on by her? She's a cute little woman. You turned on by her ass or you do it like to keep other guys away? No, it's, I like it, yeah. For three hours? <laughs> for three hours you rub her ass? Three hours? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. This guy, for three hours. I, 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 do you like getting your ass rubbed? <laughs> what? I like it. Really? I don't know. I saw this woman get a ass rubbed for three hours. I, I thought it was like degrading, you know? <laughs> I, I really did. I really did. Yeah, I really did. Um, uh, then I was, I was in this. Uh, then there was this woman there that uh, she, had to, she used to be hot. Like she might have been hot like 20 years ago, but she still had that swagger like she was still hot. You know? You know? You know what I mean? I felt like going up to this woman and say, "Lose the swagger, bitch. You're not hot anymore." You know? You had your day in the sun. It's over. You're still hanging out in bars. I, I just couldn't say it to my ex-wife, you know? Uh, I just couldn't say it, you know? Uh, let's see, I, I, I'm a pharmacist. Believe this, I'm a pharmacist. I work for Rite Aid. Anybody go to Rite Aid here? No? Nobody goes to Rite Aid here? Yeah, I go to Rite Aid. Yeah, good, good. Uh, I've, been having a lot of, I've been having a lot of fights with customers. I've been having a lot of fights with customers. Like, this woman comes in and... Uh, she wants her med. I give her a medicine. I said it's a hundred dollars. The insurance didn't work. She says it worked last month. I said, well, the coverage terminated. She says, give me back my prescription. I'm never coming back here again. W women, what, what kind of behavior is that? What kind of fucking behavior is that? I mean, I feel bad for this woman's husband. You know, he's got a girlfriend. He's gonna divorce her, and she's gonna be the victim. You know? Well, why do you women act like this? Why is that? All right, well. Uh, then this woman comes in uh, with a prescription for, for nitroglycerin, for, for nitroglycerin, for a, hus for a husband. And uh, she says, what's your wait time? And I go, 20 minutes. And uh, uh, she goes, can you make it sooner? My husband's having chest pains. I said, no, uh, my tech called out. My phone's ringing off the hook. Uh, tw 20 minutes is a stretch. She says, give me my prescription back. Do you, do you believe this shit? Can, can you believe it? Is anybody listening to me? <laughs> What's going on here? I mean, she, she left. I mean, I have, my wait time is 20 minutes. I think that's pretty fair, isn't it? I, I have a wait time of 20 minutes, and it's the only control I have at Rite Aid is wait time. You know? And, uh, but the only exception I make is if the woman's hot, it, the wait time's one minute. If uh, you have a gun sticking out of your waistband, it's 30 seconds. <laughs> and uh, this woman, this guy came in the other day, he would have really, he smelled really bad. I, I got it right out for him. If you have a load of shit in your pants, I'll, I'll get you out in like, like five seconds. <laughs> and the, the dumbest person I've ever met comes into Rite Aid, uh, like two days, the other day, with a bag of blow. Uh, she wants to know what it is. <laughs> you believe this shit? I told her it was sweet and low. I go for the four hundred dollars for it. And she wouldn't take it. What, what the fuck does she think she's gonna get for a bag of sweet and low? <laughs> Fucking believable. And then uh, I'm getting just a minute or two. Uh, uh, Thirty seconds, Scotty. And then this uh, this woman, this again, another dumb woman. Uh, she comes in. She brings in two pills from her son's jacket pocket. Nine-year-old jacket pocket. She wants to know what they are. They're OxyContin. Does everybody know what that is? Um, OxyContin? Yeah. It's, a, it's a pill form of heroin. Yeah. Are, you, are you from this country? <laughs> OxyContin, come on. I mean, why have kids if your nine-year-old's gonna be, anybody have kids here? No. Is anybody from this country here? <laughs> Does anybody have fucking kids? No. Why have kids if, you, if your nine-year-old's gonna be on OxyContin? Is gonna be a drug addict, you know? My kids didn't become drug addicts until they were 13 or 14. 
And I always told my kids, if you're gonna buy drugs on the street, let me match the price. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, all right, this is it. All right, so I'm gonna do this, crowd. this crowd does not like me. Thanks a lot. All right, come on.